What is up everybody? Welcome back to my channel Mystic Watch and today we got a brand new video. We're gonna be doing SS rank Night Guy Burning Rage of the Crimson Dragon. So we're gonna be going through and I'm gonna specifically be using no Kaguyas and no one till Naruto's to show off that you know pretty straightforward on how to beat this. Let's see. Well I shouldn't say that, because like I haven't beaten it yet. I've done it like two or three times, and each time I'm getting an idea because I didn't get a chance to look up any any guides or anything like that or like look at anyone else do it so this is like me just going in blind but now after like two or three attempts i get an idea all right okay we're trying to find a naruto with dupes there we go okay so the reason i'm using this team i'll go very briefly into it these three up top are the damage dealers uh, you got self-healing on the Naruto's. Uh, Madra has damage reduction. Uh, Naruto has damage reduction for Wisdom specifically. It's really good for the second map. You have uh, the Uchiha lineup, which actually gives Madara, the Sage of Six Pass Madara, Sync skill for 15% more damage reduction. And then, yeah, I'll explain it as I go, so we're not spending too much time on the, the main screen. Because, you know, there is going to be stalling and things like that. So we're gonna, you know, have some time to discuss the raid. That was me opening up my Arnold Palmer. Times two. Okay. So if you guys haven't already attempted S rank or SS, SS rank, I should say. Keep in mind that... What was I gonna do? What was I gonna do? Yeah, we're just all on. Okay, keep in mind that uh, SS rank is pretty different than s rank it's not just difficulty up it's like the entire raid changes a little bit for the impact so on here you have three guys with on one guy per map and they're all a different element so that's what i didn't know and when i built my team the first time around i went assuming like you know it's going to be a, a bravery based team like in the sense where like I thought all the guys were like, I didn't know there were three guys when I went in. So I was going off the fact that like, oh, I'm going to need some, you know, it's going to be a wisdom like raid. So I'm going to need some bravery stuff, some damage reduction, some bravery, uh, I mean, wisdom damage reduction. So I set up my team completely differently, but it's like only one map has, uh, you know, wisdom. So I'm like, okay. I guess that works out for me. So then I have to change up my team again. So the way it works with the guy is that on the first and second map, when you hit him, he uh, but the more damage you do, the more times he hits. So if you never touch him once, he'll only like attack you once. But once you start like barraging him with attacks, that's when he starts actually hitting. Like, multiple times. Maybe I should have brought a wisdom unit just for, for this map. Do some more damage. These guys do a lot of damage really early on. There, you guys, you know. Now he hit two times. The next time around, he'll hit again multiple times. So the reason I have Madara tanking this one is because Madara just has regular damage reduction. Versus uh, uh, Naruto... Both Naruto's who have built-in uh, wisdom damage reduction, so the wisdom damage reduction doesn't doesn't do anything here. Then of course I'm getting 800, 800, 300. So I'm getting about 2,000 healing uh, per turn. 800 comes from the the two Naruto's, and they're 600, uh, you know, self healing, and then they have the field heal to give them another 200 every turn. Madara has, you know, the other Madara below him. That gives him healing, like 200 buddy heal. And then of course, Madara has his own sync skill, but sync with bravery that gives him a, uh, what do you call it? 100 self healing every turn. So that all together racks up to 1900 self healing every turn, which is, you know, an astronomical amount. Okay. The reason I'm not using the uh, jutsus from the bottom row is they just don't do any damage. The only one who actually does some damage is the other Madara, but it screws up with the damage reduction. So 
so it's it's really not worth it. Like you just take your time. You don't you don't want to risk anything just to speed up the mission. Because overall the mission takes like I'd say uh, ten minutes if I'm like really rushing through it. And well, I can't like I still haven't beaten it. So Let's see. Oh, he got the chakra reset. Yes, this is a fully dupe mother, by the way. Keep on going, keep on going. Um, yeah, we'll go here. Oh, damn. But... This, this has to kill. Yeah, there we go. Now, is it perfect? Because my middle Naruto is the one that is, the, you know, the key of this specific, you know, round, I should say. We're just gonna move. Put you back up here. I was just recording this before and screwed everything up for me. Because what happens is, not, this guy only hits, um, he only hits one person at a time. And I tried moving closer, and like, normally it works. Like, it, it does work, but what happened was, like, I was in like an awkward position, and the guy just, like, started attacking other people for no reason. Because the way it works is that, the guy will only attack the closest person to him. Uh, yeah, we can start doing some damage. So he'll probably go for my Madara on this one, but it's not a big deal because he's only going to hit once. Oh wow, he still went for the Nazo, that's really good for me. You can see that he takes like no damage. Oh, continuous three turns. So I'll push him down in corner. There we go. Positioning is very important for this stage. Okay, now there's no reason for me to do more damage to him because I don't have other jutsus to follow up. So we're just gonna. I'm only staying here to give him more damage reduction. Yeah, there we go. So this is a perfect spot for me to be in. You can see Naruto's taking only 1355 per hit. And let's see, I don't know how much. Oof. I'm losing a little bit of damage reduction, but it's not that big of a deal. Now we're getting a billion self-healing a turn. We're getting more than 2k. Now, uh, since I grouped up everyone together, I want to see how many attacks Guy does. See, like, he's scaring me with where he's moving himself. Keeps on moving himself in between my units, and I don't like that. Like, I can I can just use the Madara Jutsu here. But, like, I still can't kill him. Because Madara Jutsu, if you guys don't remember, uh, negates Jutsu damage. But, like, I don't need to do that, because I, I, like, heal up back to full anyways. So there's, like, no reason for me to even bother doing that. I might as well just save to kill. This is what I'm talking about. Why does this guy keep on moving up and down on the screen? This is what I don't like. The maximum number of attacks I think he does is four. Uh, it might be three, so I could be wrong, but like I wouldn't, wouldn't take a chance. Yeah, I still don't think I can kill him. So we'll wait one more turn where we can get the uh, this middle Naruto's. Regular Jutsu up, and I think that'll be enough. But Madara Jutsu, Naruto Jutsu, and Naruto Ultimate, uh, those together, I think, should be enough. But just in case, now we're gonna put Guy closer. Not Guy, we're gonna put Madara right next to him. 
since Madara will uh, not take damage. Perfect. So. Oh, looks like. How many turns is this? Two times left. Okay. You can actually just do this. Move back. Make sure it hits the Madara. Get a quick, you know, 20k damage. Feels good. Yeah, this model is pretty good. But like, like I said, like you really don't need this at all. I showed you guys from multiple turns that he, uh, he just, you know, you self heal enough with this team that you just don't need that. Now this is the final stage, and this is where I die every time. As you can see here, Guy is a skill unit on this thing. So you can bring a couple of options, but you know, ideally you want to have a heart unit on here. Just to, uh, yeah, like you're already going to be taking 50% less damage. Now, like I said, he does 50k damage, right? So you want to minimize that amount of damage as much as you can. So he does 50k damage. Madara takes 10% less skill damage to begin with if you have dupes in him. And if you sync with all except heart, you get reduced another skill damage by 20%. So you tank, you know, a solid amount. Now the thing is, like I I have not tested this out. So it doesn't it doesn't look like he has a uh, sync with what do you call it? He doesn't he does not have a sync with uh Uchiha, so this doesn't really matter who you use. But this Madara also gives him, you know, another 20% damage reduction right here. So this is the first time. You have six turns. Oh, I guess you can immobilize him in the beginning. I don't know, I just like haven't tested it out. All right, all right, guys. Will we survive? Will we survive? Let's find out. Ooh, I'm scared. Okay, Madara. What the? I still don't live. That's a bunch of baloney. Fourteen k. Damage. I don't know what I gotta do at this point. But we're not done yet. We're gonna we're gonna figure this out together. So actually we're gonna rearrange our team, we're gonna go back in and we're gonna see if it works. Okay. I almost went ahead and did this before <laughs> paying attention to it. So we're using the same exact team over here, but we rearranged it so that I have more field damage reduction. I have, you know, 20% from this mother down here, 20% from this mother. So at the end of the day, the mother that's getting hit is, you know, has more damage reduction. This, if I t win this, it's gonna be the closest thing ever. But if I don't, you don't know. So we're gonna find out. God bless. Oh wait. Wait, 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 wait a second. Okay, okay, we'll go. We'll go. Oh! Come on, come on. Holy shit. Let's go. You know, man, I was getting shit talked in my discord saying that I wasn't going to survive this thing. I wasn't going to survive this. Guess what? We survived this. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching so much. Now the whole point of this is that you can beat it without having, you know, the nuts. Like without having the one kill Naruto, without having the Kaguya, there are ways to beat this mission. So that was the point of this. I know so there's always going to be like the one dude and it's like, but you had a fully tooth Madara. But you added this and that. Yeah, I, I don't give a shit. I beat this damn mission. 
I could beat this thing like 16 times faster if I just used like any of, of, my, of my other units. Or I just took a Kaguya friend. So once again, if you guys have a Kaguya friend, go ahead and take the Kaguya friend. This will make it really easy. Uh, the whole point was that, uh, you know, the final stage, yes, it's, it, it's a gimmick, right? Like, all you have to do is you need to get past the first two stages and I hoped that I was able to show you guys how to do that much at least. So if this guy, if this video was helpful, make sure to leave a like down below, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching so much, and I'll see you all next time. Peace out.